He got him good there. That's high. The end may be near. Price. Perhaps playing a little area. The two of the most dangerous superstars in all of WWE. It's got to be. proved it tonight by going toe to toe with Braun Strowman in a steel cage and not backing down but less than 24 hours after we offer you the opportunity of a lifetime you get into a fight with a fan outside a WWE event and there's video I'd really love to hear this explanation I am so sorry. I never intended for this to happen, and I can promise you it will never, never happen again. I didn't ask for an apology. I asked for an explanation. You need to understand, this isn't some rinky-dink independent promotion running shows at the Elks Lodge. This is a global company. We can't have our WWE superstars getting into fights with fans. It's unprofessional, and it will not be tolerated. On top of that, you were caught on camera bashing NXT, saying you were going straight to the main roster. Who in the hell do you think you are? Look, I was just having fun with the fans, okay? I was just about to say that I would be happy to go to NXT, and then I was attacked. Oh, I bet. This is what I get for trying to do business with one of your guys, Baron. Come on, Hunter. Can't you just find him or something? No, I can't find him if he's not on the active roster. I'm rescinding the contract offer. Leave or I will have security escort you out. Don't ever bring me one of his guys again. Understood. This is on you too. Remember what I said about making me regret my decision? Congratulations, you did it in record time. Hey, this wasn't your fault. I'm sure we'll figure something out. Now, come on, grab your stuff. We gotta go. Just a minute. Wakey, wakey, Jake the Snakey. Oh, it is too early for that to be funny. Sorry, I couldn't wait to tell you the good news. Triple H called and wants to offer me a contract again? No, better. What could be better than that? Well, after news of your NXT contract being pulled hit the internet, your fan fight video went viral. It's over 2 million views now. Sorry, make that 2.2 million. So, a whole lot of people have watched me throw my career away. Why is that a good thing? Because controversy creates cash. My phone's been blowing up. Everyone wants to book you now. You're the hottest thing on the indie scene. And based upon the principle of supply, there's only one of you. And demand, like I said, is high. Your rate is skyrocketing. Okay, okay, this could be good. It could be very good. We can turn chicken crap into chicken salad, if you know what I'm saying. I don't think I get it. You're gonna stick it to Triple H and WWE by making your own success in the indies. You'll be way bigger than you ever would have been in NXT or WWE, and we'll do it together. So what do you say? Are you in? I mean... <laughs> What other choice do I have? I'm in. I'm in. All right. Now, go brush your teeth. Your breath is terrible. It's too early for this. Uh... Somebody want to explain to me what's going on here? Give me a minute. Welcome to the new reality of BCW. 
Because of all your online hype, we sold out our usual allotment of tickets a few days ago. But since I'm an entrepreneurial genius, I pulled some strings with the school principal, allowing us to move the show outside. Therefore, doubling our capacity. <laughs> all right. All right. Good work. But that's not all. See those fancy video cameras and that nice gentleman I was just speaking with? Uh, yeah. For the first time ever, BCW will be live streaming our event around the world on pay-per-view. So anyone who's not lucky enough to see Buzz in person can still watch him do his thing from the comfort of their homes for a small but fair fee. Isn't it great? Uh, yeah, it's great. Question, who is Buzz? Oh, <laughs> that's your new nickname. You know, because of all the social media buzz you're generating. Don't worry, you'll get used to it. Buzz? <laughs> it's all turning into chicken salad, my friend. Uh, yeah, speaking of making things not crappy, have you seen Cole? I feel like I should talk to him before our match tonight. Well, he's around here somewhere. And, oh, by the way, your match with him tonight is now Falls Count Anywhere. Thought you two could have some fun with all the extra space out here. <laughs> fun, yeah. You really have an odd definition of the word fun. <laughs> there he is. The man who drowned in his own rising tide. Come back to apologize to me for stealing my shot at WWE and immediately throwing it away? <laughs> Look, I am not apologizing for anything, okay? All I want to say is that we don't need to have each other's backs, but with what Baron is planning to do, the least we could do is have each other's respect, all right? So, are we good? <laughs> oh, yeah. We're so good? I thought I'd introduce you to my new character I'm trying out tonight. You remember how Matt Bloom didn't like Mr. CQ? and decided to give you a tryout instead of me? Sure. Smart decision. I'm calling myself Black Hole Cole because I have an energy so intense, nothing can escape it. <sighs> what? Oh, you don't like it? Why? I'm not a fan of masks these days. <laughs> You know, I find it really interesting that I was attacked by somebody wearing a mask, and next time I see you, you have a mask. Not to mention, you also had all the motivation in the world to do it. Hmm. You're right. It was me. So what are you going to do about it? Uh, you better tell me the truth right now. It wasn't me! I, uh, I had a match that night 300 miles away. I got the gas receipts to prove it. But I could have hired somebody to do it. What?! There was a joke! Man, relax! You're real funny. Real funny. We'll see who's laughing after our match tonight.
Michael Cole still feels like Buzz stole his WWE opportunity, and now he's out for revenge. He should also get revenge on whoever told him that new name was a good idea. BCW tonight. This is by far the hottest ticket in town. Take that, bingo night at St. Mary's Church. For those of you who are late to the party, welcome to BCW's very first streaming pay-per-view, where Buzz, that's his name now, if you've been living under a rock, and Black Hole Cole, okay, are facing each other in a Falls Count Anywhere match. Hey, Triple H, I know you're watching. Impressed with what you see so far? Well, sorry, you had a shot at signing these two, and you blew it. They're BCW for life now. We have a sold-out, record-setting crowd here for BCW tonight. This is by far the hottest ticket in town. Take that, bingo night at St. Mary's Church. This takes me back to the marathon beatdown between Owen Schwartz and Mason Cunin for the title. We apologize if anyone's having difficulty with your paper on stream. To be honest, we underestimated the demand to see pros in action. We offer refunds, but hey, this event streaming from a high school parking lot. So what'd you expect? <laughs> Black Hole Cole still feels like Buzz stole his WWE opportunity, and now he's out for revenge. He should also get... doesn't live in his van. Just a reminder, this match is Falls Count Anywhere in the general parking lot area, as we didn't pay to have the street closed. BCW is getting bigger, but we're not traffic control movies, okay? For those of you who are late to the party, welcome to BCW's very first streaming pay-per-view, where Buzz, that's his name now, if you've been living under a rock, and Black Hole Cole, okay, are facing each other in a Falls Count Anywhere match. Just a reminder, this match is Falls Count Anywhere the general parking lot area, as we didn't pay to have the street club. BCW is getting bigger, but we're not traffic control here, okay? Hey, Triple H, I know you're watching. Impressed with what you see so far? Well, sorry, you had a shot at signing these two, and you blew it! They're BCW for life now. We have a sold out record setting crowd here for BCW. Nice ticket in town. Take that bingo night at St. Mary's Church. This takes me back to the marathon. Boom. 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 That 
That's what BCW is all about. Fan interaction. You don't just come and watch a BCW show. You're a part of it. You taking notes, Triple H? Black Hole Cole still feels like Buzz stole his WWE opportunity, and now he's out for revenge. He should also get revenge on whoever told him that new name was a good idea. was amazing! The live crowd loved it! You managed to avoid wrecking the principal's car, and the pay-per-view buys were off the charts! You two will be getting nice bonus checks in the mail for that. <laughs> oh, uh, I'll hand deliver yours since the last time I checked, you can't send mail to vans. <laughs> that was quite the battle. It was. Uh, sorry about your windshield. It's okay. Baron said he'd pay for it. <laughs> hey, you're a lot tougher than I thought you were. You proved that tonight. And I didn't really get it before, but now I'm starting to understand why they're calling you Buzz. It's pretty much just Baron calling me that. It's gonna catch on, you'll see. Well, my bad for getting fired up about the mask earlier. We good? We're good. That's great, guys, but don't get too friendly because you'll be facing each other again soon in an even bigger rematch. I just need time to build something. Baron, since when have you built anything ever? Well, I'm not actually building it myself, but I am designing it. In the meantime, I have some great opportunities for both of you to build off the success of tonight's show. Cole, an up-and-coming promotion in Japan wants you to go wrestle for them. Ho ho ho! Even Japan can't escape the energy of Black Hole Coal. <laughs> right. Actually, they explicitly said to not do that character. They just want Cole Quinn. And Buzz, we are headed south of the border for a match versus Mexico's hottest luchador, El Mago! Es increíble! What? I took a few years of Spanish in high school. What? Guess that'll be useful on our trip. Hey, big things are happening for us in BCW. It's all coming together. Now, what do you say we bring it in for a big celebratory BCW handshake? Yeah. Uh, 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 ha! Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Is that a chunk of my skin? Gross. Wakey, wakey, earthquakey. We're having an earthquake? No, no, no. Just playing the wrestler wake up game, man. Relax. You might want to choose a less terrifying wrestler name next time. Yeah, noted. We made it. Already? It really didn't seem like we were driving two days. Gee, I wonder why. It's because you've been asleep the entire two days. Hey, I need my genius promoter rest. Uh huh. How do you say I need a shower in Spanish? Necesita un shower? I don't know, I don't remember the word for shower. <laughs> You're a lot of help. Did you see that? What? That masked guy who attacked me, he's here, I just saw him. 
I think you're seeing things from being awake for so long. I'm telling you that was him. How about you get some rest before your big match tonight? We need to keep all our momentum going. Can't have any setbacks due to hallucinations yet. That wasn't a hallucination. <laughs> all right. Wait, stop, pull over! What, what is it? Did you see him? No, I want to try some authentic Mexican street corn. You're the worst. de Baus en México y será la última si gana el mago. Lucharán. Impresionante la lucha libre de vos. Tal vez hizo su tarea. Escuché que el adversario del mago habla español. Pues bienvenidos a México, vos, y buena suerte. Vos tiene el impulso, pero el mago puede hacerlo desaparecer. Parece cansado. Tal vez tenía un buen viaje. Solamente lo mejor por los hombres de Baron Blade. Esta lucha ha sido increíble. Como nos dijo Baron Blade toda la semana pasada. Noche hermosa. Hace buen tiempo mientras estamos afuera. Tal vez el mago lo controla. Los dos luchadores al punto de convertirse en superestrellas. ¿Quién será? ¿Quién va a ser? ha ganado todas sus luchas pero el mago tiene sus trucos a mí no me parece 
parece que Boss tiene miedo. Si hubiera luchado contra Braun Strowman, tampoco tendría miedo. Lo siento al mago, pero el que se lleva una máscara se parece enemigo a Baus. Su primera lucha de Baus en México y será la última si gana el mago. ¿Qué pasa aquí? Es el enmascarado que atacó al boss en el evento de WWE. ¡Qué horror! ¡Terrible! ¡Qué lástima que esta lucha tremenda termina así! ¡Llévaselo de aquí! ¡Sácalo! ¿Now do you believe me? I guess so. Look, I don't know why you're doing this, but I am not going to let you try to ruin my career ever again. Lo siento. Soy un fan y solo quería atención. Perdóname, por favor. What's he saying? Did he admit to everything? No. He's a fan. He's just craving attention. He's a copycat. It's not the same guy. Let him go. Oh, gracias, señor. Oye, ¿puedo tener un autógrafo? Not tonight, buddy. Oh, but, but... Well, your big Mexico debut didn't go quite as planned, but the match was still great up until the end. Any publicity is good publicity, right? You've still got the buzz going. I guess. I'm gonna take a shower. You mean... Ducha. <laughs> I looked it up. So, this is what you had to build for our big rematch, right? What is it, a tetanus tornado match? Yep, it's a beauty, don't you think? I'd say it's more beast than beauty. Well, its official name is the Scrap Trap. Not only are we gonna have our biggest streaming audience yet, we're doing it in one of WWE's most iconic venues. It's like we're invading their territory. Man, I wish I could see the look on Triple H's face when he sees this. Where did this even come from? Where did you dig this up? All over. I salvaged it from other wrestling promotions, a junkyard scrap. That section is from WCW's Triple Cage. That is from an ECW cage, and I believe that side used to be an old prison fence. <laughs> Pretty neat, huh? I think a better name would be Death Trap. This violates every health code known to mankind. <laughs> yeah, it does. We call this 
the scrap trap because it was scrapped together from junkyard metal and old steel cages from other wrestling promotions and because it rhymes. This is the match you've all been waiting for. Buzz versus Cole Quinn in the first ever Scrap Trap Match! If you think this thing looks dangerous, that's because it is. The fact that we're broadcasting from the former home of Monday Night Raw shows that BCW is making huge strides and we couldn't have done it without your support. Seriously, this venue wasn't cheap. It cost about 50 high school gyms. They shut it down? Damn it! Triple H, it had to be. These two guys are out here killing each other, and thanks to him, no one's seen it. No, I don't want to stop the match. There's still the live crowd here, and maybe we can release the video later. Damn it! After the pay-per-view, be sure to check out our new website, where you can purchase all kinds of BCW swag, including my new favorite item, a BCW lunchbox which is an homage to when our locker room was in an actual school cafeteria. We call 
as the scrap track because it was scrapped together from junkyard metal and old steel cages from other wrestling promotions and because it rhymes. We're broadcasting from the former home of Monday Night Raw shows that BCW is making huge strides and we couldn't have done it without your support. Seriously, this venue wasn't cheap. It cost about 50 high school gyms. Guys, that truly topped anything you've ever done before. But I'm afraid I got some bad news. What? Yeah, what happened? Our pay-per-view stream went down in the middle of your match. No one watching online got to see how it ended. <laughs> Did the site crash or something? What happened? No, we were taken down intentionally by Triple H. Triple H? How could he even do that? He and WWE's lawyers are claiming they have exclusive rights to broadcast from this venue. <sighs> Damn it! And now we're getting flooded with refund requests. Don't think you're getting any bonus checks for this show, guys. I'm sorry. Does either of you know if you can return slightly used jet skis? I might have jumped the gun on purchasing a couple. We'll circle back to that later. First, Triple H unfairly pulls my contract from defending myself from an attack, and now he's trying to sabotage our business? We have to strike back. They have a team of lawyers and an endless supply of cash. You guys just competed in a cage made from an old prison fence. What could we possibly do to them? Well, you said it earlier. Tonight was like we're invading their territory, right? So, what if we actually did that? What do you mean? I mean, we hit Triple H exactly where it hurts the most by- Selling him used jet skis. Invading NXT. Invading NXT. Totally on the same page as you, Buzz. I don't know about this, guys. It seems risky. Why? We've both been rejected by WWE, so what do we have to lose, right? And this is what you wanted, Baron. You wanted this. You said it yourself. Our plan was to stick it to Triple H. So what do you say? I think we're gonna need a really big stick? That's what I'm talking about!